So we're going to be looking at electric potential energy and you've experienced electric potential energy when you played electric field hockey. So as you grabbed uh, a couple of positive charges, you bring them closer and closer together. What you're doing is you're storing energy in those two particles. Now fortunately the red one is fixed, but the energy that gets stored when you bring those close together can be released again in the form of kinetic energy. Goal. Now very similar to gravitational potential energy, electric potential energy is the area underneath the force distance graph. And so a nice calculus proof would tell us that the equation look almost exactly like the equation we dealt with when we were dealing with gravitational potential energy. And it looks very similar to our force equation. Uh, for predicting the force between two charges based on the distance of separation and the charges. So, electric potential energy, very similar to gravitational potential energy. Now notice that the reference here, of course, is infinity, just the way it was with gravitational potential energy. And so, the energy you store is considered to be counting as soon as you start to bring those particles close together. You'll notice one difference is that the sign of the potential energy depends on the charge of the particles. And so when you were playing electric field hockey, if you were bringing a positive charge towards another positive charge, you're storing energy because they're repelling. And so when the two charges have the same sign, either positive positive or negative negative, you're storing energy as you bring them close together. On the other hand, as you bring oppositely charged particles together, you're losing energy because they're attracting. And so that explains the difference in sign.